why the move? Why is this happening? And a big reason why this is happening, uh, John Wilner actually put out USC and UCLA uh, stand to make well over $100 million in their media rights deal in 2024 with the Big Ten. The Pac-12 was making somewhere around 30 Somewhere around there, I think, $30 million a year. Uh, I mean, it's just, it, it is definitely more than double. And maybe almost triple. Uh, it's insane, uh, the amount of money that they will be making by doing this. So, uh, you look at it, uh, the, I mean, it, again, the Big Ten media deal was supposed to come out a month ago. And it never came out. So, we, we should have seen that something was going on behind the scenes. But we just thought it was going to be a huge deal like a huge uh, billion dollar whatever, and now it can go for even more because you're bringing in the L.A. markets, right? And USC and UCLA quickly realized there is not much left at the table for us when we go to contract negotiations here in a couple of years. Like the Pac-12 brought in George Klyovkov because he was, uh, he was involved in entertainment. He understood how these deals work. He was a new guy a new kind of uh, commissioner, right? He was the the new guinea pig because most of them were like Jim Phillips. They had been ADs. They had been involved at the university side, et cetera. George Klyovkov blew that out of the water. And then, of course, the Big 12 hiring in uh, Brett Yormark. Uh, I mean, it's it has nothing to do with school anymore. It has nothing to do with universities. So uh, USC and UCLA saw if we don't get on this gravy train, we are going to get left behind because as much as nobody wants to have it, we are going to end up with Super Leagues. Like I said at the jump, ESPN and Fox. Those are the two leagues. And that's it. That CBS ain't involved. NBC ain't involved. All of them may get some secondary rights, etc. If CBS wanted to partner with the Big 12 or somebody along those lines and actually pay them, then, yeah, maybe you could... Maybe you could build another one. I don't know. Like it, It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, USC and UCLA realized we got to get out of here. We are the bread makers in this conference. And, you know, it does leave some of them behind. It does leave Oregon and Stanford and Washington, et cetera, behind. That's going to be interesting. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.